Hello everyone, welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video, and this starship looks a little a bit different, as you probably noticed by looking at it right now, and probably by the thumbnail of this video, but yeah. So yeah, today we're going to be testing out a kind of a new design change that was announced by Elon just a few days ago. He kind of just sprung it on us, kind of weird, but yeah, yeah, actually that's kind of how most of these like massive design change go. He's like, oh yeah, by the way, guess what, now they're catching the rocket with the freaking tower thing, and by the way, the fins are farther apart. Now here, I'll just, I'll just read his tweet. Uh, by the way... There is a slight error with forward flap design moving section is needed for control, but passive section is counterproductive as it pushes nose for backwards. Backwards, that's the word. New design rotates forward flaps more to leeward and further forward to improve moment or maybe 120 degrees apart. So, yeah, we're going to be giving this thing a little bit of a test flight, see how this works, see how it looks. Um, there have been a few renders, but no one's really done this in KSP or given like a 3D way to kind of look at what the new design may look like. We don't really know what the design will look like. We don't have obviously any official renders or anything. A few 3D artists have uh, given their attempts, like uh, mine is uh, based mostly on Urkex's. Um, what his his looked like basically just moved the flaps a little bit away um some people have had the flaps actually pre-rotated so they're basically just pointing like that way or something i find that very ugly so i didn't do that i really hope that's not what they're gonna do because that ooh. um so yeah <laughs> um but yeah i'm not gonna show the the renders on screen because uh copyright but i will link them in the description if you guys want to check out what i am referring to all right, that's enough rambling. Let's get into the test flight. So, uh, yeah, this is like post-commentary me talking. So, yeah, so basically I'm going to talk a little bit more about, let's see, the QDR retracting. And there's our launch. Uh, yeah, I'm going to talk a little more into the, the theory as to why uh, they chose to do this um, a little bit later in the video. I want them to be able to, to, be able to test re-entry because that's basically the biggest reason. As for re-entry stability, like I said, I'll talk about that a little bit later on. Um, but yeah, we have just launched off of the pad, and we're going to start a very slight gravity turn towards the east to get our way into orbit. This is basically the most up-to-date Starship design, I think. Uh, it's got, like, the great fins pre-deployed, which I'm actually starting to come around to the idea of. Kind of looks pretty cool. Also, unsure of really how the heat shield was supposed to look, so I kind of just made that. I actually think the heat shield looks pretty cool, the, um, the, the one, because you, you have to extend the heat shield a little bit further around. Um, because the, the fat flaps have moved. I, I assume at least that's what's going to happen. Um, so yeah, I uh, had to change heat shield design a little bit. Um, by the way, huge thank you to Black Shadow or on my Discord. Haha, um, join the Discord, am I right? And uh, his name is SpaceX Gamer on YouTube uh, for making uh, most of this the ship to this starship, like the ship at the upper stage. Huge thanks to him. Very awesome. I think it's like 99% stock. The grid fins aren't stock. Just, this thing is like 600 part, uh, part, parts, I can speak, hopefully. Um, and adding like like hundred few hundred parts for the grid fins would just be insane and the thing we're running at like two FPS So I'm um, gonna go ahead and switch to the booster now Go into our boost back burn and then booster landing uh, So this is gonna be basically an SN or s20 b4, you know starship 420, right? Um, type of a uh, of a landing here at the booster and be landing just offshore because I don't have any sort of mechazilla mechazilla catching arm thingy bobber dude so um, eventually would that be so cool to make like an act like an actual accurate version where like the, the arms come out and it'd be awesome but does not exist yet I don't think anyone's actually been able to make a good one um, so and yeah, maybe one person I don't know, maybe I don't know I should try at some point but uh, yeah we're gonna be landing off the shore just like the uh, the booster will IRL. Um, you could you could actually really tell with the grid fins being spaced differently. Um, this is my first time flying a super heavy like this, and uh, yeah, it was really noticeable. Like pitch is way more responsive than y'all. So, um, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and light up our center engines, and then bring our super heavy in for a very epic landing onto the ocean. As you'll see, this landing is actually um, well, I don't know, I don't want to say too good. All right, so touchdown. So. The thing doesn't tip over. Um, <laughs> so I basically came in with like perfectly, I think it's really more of a testament to, to the weirdness of KSP physics, but uh, and I'd actually had to give a little bit of a push with the thrusters, uh, the, uh, the reaction control thrusters actually knock it over. But uh, now I can reload our quick save switch back to the uh, ship. And as you can see, the top of my heat shield is kind of like uh, clipped into the fairing. Um, this this is a little bit of work. You can tell which bit Black Shadow made, which bit I made. The, made, the bit I made is the bit that stopped working, right? <laughs> so yeah, I clearly have a little bit to learn here. Still a work in progress. Hopefully the sun will get refined. Um, but definitely the one thing I did notice is because there's a little bit more um, TPS tiles or thermal protection system heat shield tiles at the front of the nose um, because of the new placement of the um, of the fins. 
uh, that is actually, the thing actually, they, they create a lot more drag up front, um, which actually wants to push the nose up during the ascent. So it's actually quite tricky. You have to, not tricky, but you have to, there's a lot more gimbaling down the, the engines to keep the thing stable um, during ascent. And we went that, so yeah, if, if you go too shallow in the ascent and you separate the super heavy and upper stage, uh, a little bit lower down, like 10 kilometers, 15 kilometers, um, I found that the Starship can actually lose control. So very interesting. Um, quickly though, I would like to say if you are enjoying the video, you could subscribe, am I right? I know, right? You could do that. It's a thing. You could also become a member, Patreon, I don't know, just kind of shameless plugs, Discord, join all the things, buy merch, I don't know, they're not even that good shirts. If you, I don't know. Thank you everyone who has done that, really, the bomb. Anyway, uh, anyone who has uh, supported the channel, you guys are awesome, especially during my hiatus, if you're watching this later on, it make no sense, but I've been on vacation and, you know, I'm back, so... Uh, been a little bit of wild. Thanks to the members who basically stayed member for basically no content. So yeah, and the Patreons. You guys are awesome. So there you go. Time warp fixes the heat shield thing. Um, not a problem during uh, descent. Um, I was gonna initially follow the uh, the actual test per flight kind of thing, um, where uh, the uh, the thing is not actually gonna get to orbit. It's gonna kind of go on a suborbital trajectory, but then I realized you'd be landing at night, and that is boring, so, um, yeah, we're gonna go do our day of reporting, we're gonna land in the desert just, uh, before the KSC, because we have landing legs, and landing in the, landing on land is cooler than landing in the water, so, this is, I assume, what, uh, S21 is gonna be like, um, because S20 is already built, it has the, uh, uh, the heat shield tiles, or the, the, the flaps where they are, fins, flaps, alonarons, right, um, but I assume for 21 that this will be the same. So now it's branching. This is a bit that really... So this is... I should probably explain the kind of the theory if you don't know behind this. So um, what they were finding... Actually, I mean, Elon kind of said a little bit um, in his tweet. In his tweet but uh, he actually... If you, if you just follow up, please, we can get more. But the point is, um, the static arrows, um, which is like the, the, the bit that doesn't move, that is basically where the, the hydraulics connect to and stuff, um, they were causing a lot of drag because um, they don't move. So they're basically just a big thing in the airstream. Um, they were causing drag on, in their, I guess, simulations, because the uh, Starship hasn't actually entered yet, I've done a re-entry. Um, and it was causing the nose to get to get pushed up, because the thing is quite back heavy. So if you have stuff pushing the nose up, it could cause a thing to flip, and then you'd be entering non-heat shield first, also known as engine first, also known as, like, exploding, right? So, um, the theory is you can move them back, and then the, uh, the static arrows is no longer in the airstream as much, and you also make them a little bit smaller, um, which means it's really just the fins, just means there's less surface area in the front, and you can get more control, and it's awesome, and turns out, freaking great design, you know, it turns out, actually. If you actually looked, if you look right now, you can see I, I basically didn't move the fins at all. I'd start to move them right now, but basically this thing made it through entry, like, almost passively stable. It was insane. It was just uh, using reaction wheels, and it kept itself basically completely stable. So, um, yeah, so far, um, it, it did very well. Um, I did a test before this uh, with a normal version, um, and there was actually, I had to do quite a bit of, like, uh, nose-down inputs um, using flaps to keep the thing from the engines to flip backwards. So, the thing, act the thing was actually a little bit front-heavy. Um, it was insane, because um, a little bit of extra heat shield tiles on the front there. Um, actually help really bring the nose down. So GG to that. Um, and you're going to see a very awkward quick save and quick load. Um, because this thing, um, during the belly flop bit, is very counter to counterintuitive to fly. And that fairing is kind of clipping into the vacuum engine. That should also be a thing I check or fix for the next video. Um, yeah, this thing is actually quite counterintuitive, the, the, the descent and control method. Basically, if you're so the thing tends to yaw a little bit, basically just like twist left and right. And the way to fix that is to roll into it. So if you're twisting left, you actually have to roll it to the left, which is super backwards because you assume if you're twisting left, you want to yaw and roll to the right to try and turn right. But nope, it's, it's really backwards. So it took me a few attempts to get used to it. Um, but this thing is also like pretty stable here. Come in like this, basically don't have to touch anything. A little bit more nose down than normal. Um, but uh, here we go. We have one engine, two engine, three engine. Oh my gosh, epic, epic, much wow. Here comes a flip. Everything looking good so far. We're folding in the flaps here. Gonna go ahead and drop the landing legs down, selecting to just two engines now. And now it's just gonna re bring it in for a landing. And... Ah, a little firm, but yeah. Well, 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 it's down, you know, Ryanair status, right? So yeah, all in all, I think this is a good design change. They should probably do this, although they probably have better simulations than KSB, so they'd really know. It does look a little strange. I don't know, we'll get used to it. I know, just like the grid fins on Super Heavy being a little bit different, so...
yeah so yeah that's it uh, thank you everyone for watching there's this uh, member join me can remember you can hit the join button um also patreons thank you to all the patreons and thank you everyone for watching what's the next time please already have to the video and again thank you for watching what's the next time man bye